I got into this institution through interview and appointment held in 2018. And by God's grace, I was appointed the second rector of the Federal Polytechnic of Oil and Gas. When I came in, I saw the whole school filled with grass everywhere. So what I do was to embark on cleaning and sanitation exercise of the whole school. And after the sanitation exercise, I have to embark on admission of students. I interface with JAM and the MBT for the admission of students into this school. By God's grace, JAM granted us the permissions to bring in students through the JAM platform. The first student arrived here in July 2018 for the 2017-2018 academic session. And we immediately commenced lecture. So we have passed through, admitted about three sets of students into this school. The first set will soon be graduating by say November or March next year, we shall be convocating the first set of students that we brought into this. So we, when we noticed that we've started lecture, we now decided to make sure that we interface with MB, uh, sorry, Tefon, to make sure that our school was accredited. And they granted the school the privilege to enlist itself or as beneficiary of the tech fund project. You can see behind me up there is the tech fund project going on. The construction of the library, construction of lecture theaters. We have, if I take you around, I will show you the equipment tech fund have bought for us and we are about to commence other programs which we call core courses. Very soon we'll be admitting students to run petroleum and gas processing engineering we will admit students by next jam to run uh, chemical engineering. We will be admitting them for uh, computer engineering. We will admit them for safety engineering. And um, these are things needed in the oil and gas industry. But now we are talking about uh, students are undergoing marine technology. So we want to make sure that we get ourselves acquainted with all the things that goes on in the oil and gas industry. So today we have interfaced with even the LNG people and they have shown me a green light so that some of our students may be coming in there for IT, particularly during uh, the shutdown. So we are trying to see how academic board here will pattern our curriculum so that during the shutdown we ask them to allow our students to uh, mix up with them, at least to see exactly what is going on in the plan and that will increase their, their knowledge. So my call to everyone, uh, all and sundry, is this, that this school needed to be supported in terms of equipment, in order for us to maintain and obtain our visions. We want our parents, the Council of Chiefs, politicians, those who have money, the government itself, to support our plan. We have capable hands. We're making sure that we drive the vision of this school. But what's our problem is lack of finance. But uh, as people support us, we want to move this school forward. My next vision is to make sure that uh, very soon we commence the HND program. And as soon as that happens, we want to commence by interfacing with some universities to run a bachelor degree program. So two of them will move pari passu concurrently. So if I can achieve that, I will say God has blessed us. We need to widen out this school and make it develop to become a well-rounded institution of learning so that the whole world, this is, this is the only oil and gas institution in Africa. And so we want to make it such so that anywhere anybody is will be very proud that he belongs to this school. I call on the students of this school to be proud of this school. Despite the fact that there are some hiccups here and there, yes, it's associated with every place. There will be people who write petitions, there will be people who criticize and so on. And in fact, let me let you know, if nobody criticizes you or condemn you, you may not want to work hard. So all those things people say, either in Facebook and so on, is a way of trying to spur me to work very hard so that we achieve things for this, this thing. I am from Bonnie here. My children are all here. 
If I don't keep legacy behind, my children will be the people who will suffer the fate of it. And if I don't keep the legacy behind, my God in the heaven will not be very happy that we do not do the needful. So I put in my best. I want my staff and everybody to support, including you in the media, to project the image of this school. And uh, that will bring people. I also have a dream that when this road is completed, that will attract people everywhere because they keep on asking me if they want to come. But the problem is how to cross this ocean. So if the road is completed, you will see the population of this school. And then the community will benefit from that.